Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. I have been receiving some requests from my viewers. They want to understand what is tag time and cycle time in a VSM and how are they correlated. So in this video, what we are going to learn is what is a tag time, what is cycle time and then we are going to do a comparison between tag time and cycle time and we will understand the application of tag time and cycle time in VSM with the help of industry example. So let's begin the video. Let us first understand what is the definition of tag time. Tag time is a calculated time that is to be spent on each unit to meet customer demand. If the production of one unit is exceeding the tag time, we are not going to meet the customer demand at the end of the day. And cycle time refers to the average time taken to complete one single unit. Tag time is equal to time in seconds available per shift excluding overtime that's very important and divided by number of customer orders to be filled daily. So let us take an example and understand this better. For example total shift time is 9 hours that includes a lunch break which is 30 minutes and it also includes tea or coffee break of 15 minutes and overall customer demand is 200 units. So the total available time is 9 into 60 into 60 is equal to 3 to 4 double zero seconds. And the seconds available per shift is 3 to 4 double zero minus 2700 seconds, which is obtained from all these break times. So 45 minutes is equal to 2700 seconds. So overall time which is available per shift is 29700 seconds. The tag time calculation 29700 should be divided by 200 to give us 148.5 seconds. So this is how tag time is calculated. Now understanding the use of tag time in a VSM. Suppose it is a three step process continuing with the same example. The processing time of each of the following steps is 148 seconds. Some people call it processing time, some people call it cycle time. So whatever you want to call it, it is the time that is required to process that particular step. Suppose processing time of step number 1 is 148 seconds, processing time of step 2 is 297 seconds and processing time of step 3 is 152 seconds. So what we have to understand is, so my tag time overall is 148.5 seconds. So all these process steps should be performed in 148.5 seconds. Otherwise, I will not be able to meet the customer demand of 200 units by the end of the day. Step number one, 148 seconds, I am okay. So I can put one resource here. At step number two, I have 297 seconds as the processing time for this step. So I need to put two full-time employees here so that the overall speed is matched. And step number 3, 152 seconds. Now you cannot put an extra resource because it is greater than 148.5 seconds. So what we have to do is you have to find out an innovative way to reduce this processing time to at least 148.5 seconds. So once you do that, you will be able to identify the full-time employees you need in the entire process or in the entire value chain. One resource is needed at step 1. Two resources are needed at step 2 and one resource is needed at step 3 provided you have that incremental improvement done and you have reduced this processing time to 148.5 seconds. So friends, I hope you understood this. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.